Hey everybody, it's your old pal Wes Ness. It's early in the morning. It is early. Too early to be dealing with Dan Patrick and his likes. It's a good thing our governor put somebody in that office that looks crazier than him. Holy God, this guy can't get away from his little pee-pee looker bills. This bathroom bill is bad for Texas. All you got to do is look at North Carolina, see all the stuff they lost all the way from concerts to NCAA tournaments. It's already started with people protesting the Texas legislature. It's stupid, and it's not an issue. How many times have you had this problem in your life? None! It's not an issue. But Patrick and his likes know that old people scare easy, and that's their voting base. These old ladies between age 65 and 85 and older. Like anybody wants to see your old ass cooters anyways lined up in the stalls like a bunch of gray spiders. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't wish to involve myself much in politics, but this is absolutely ridiculous, and I don't want to lose concerts. I don't want to lose sports events. I don't want Texas to become a second-tiered state, and that's what this guy is setting us up for. This is not conjecture. There is proof already out there that this will happen. We will be banned. We will be put on a list. We will not be visited by people. If this bathroom bill continues to be a thing and it's just ridiculous it's you know what if you if you want to have a problem uh, with perverts in the bathroom make stronger laws that punish perverts who are in the bathroom just the other people going in and out the trans or whatever it's been going on for decades and you had no idea and it wasn't a problem so you guys just keep being awesome to each other